Right, so we're going to check out Christina Guerrero again as she talks about maybe some new spices, new foods you tried over the pandemic. People may have been cooped up the last year, but their taste buds became adventurous world travelers. And now many folks are hungry to experiment with new flavors. So if you're on your TV, if you're on your cell phone, doesn't matter where you look now, there is exposure two different types of flavors out there. Ever since Spice executive chef Cody Masters fills us in on three international flavor trends, we can expect to see adding fun and fire at our local grocery stores and restaurants. First up, spice and heat. Ghost peppers, best known for striking fear in the hearts of contestants at hot pepper challenges, have gone mainstream. You've seen some major fast food restaurants, for example, take a tiny little bit of ghost pepper and mix it into ranch dressing and call it a ghost pepper ranch. Another spice and heat combination is mango habanero. You can see this in candy, beverages, and appetizers like chicken wings. And Cody suggests taking this sweet and spicy theme and experimenting with other combinations. Why don't I try to get a fire roasted pineapple flavor and pair that with the Serrano chili? Why don't I get a smoky blueberry and pair that with an Anaheim chili? Next up, ethnic flavors. It really is flavors coming out of North African, Mediterranean, into the Middle East and wrapping back around. Chili paste sauces like harissa and dishes like North African tagine can take your cooking up a notch. You take that harissa and you mix it into, say, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of lemon juice. You make a little bit of a dressing, put that over a bone-in jumbo chicken leg, throw in some golden raisins, some dried apricots, maybe a hit of some pomegranate juice. You throw that in the oven, you're really gonna have something special when it comes out of there. Our final flavor trend, umami. You've all eaten umami. There are a number of foods that evoke the essence of umami. A mushroom, seaweed, bone broth, soy sauce, different types of meats, shellfish, yeast extracts, or nutritional yeast, which is becoming more and more popular lately. Bringing umami into the kitchen is easier than ever. I mean, if you go online and you type in umami seasoning, you're gonna find all kinds of really cool stuff out there. And some of them may just be mushroom powder. Three ways to tantalize your taste buds with a wide world of flavors. Mm -hmm. I don't all think those I've things. Tried all umami. You haven't had umami? Umami? Umami. 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 Who's mommy? <laughs>